In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people, and welcome. Today is Thursday, the 30th of May, 2019. The Church celebrates today the Solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord. Today is Ascension Thursday. This is Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed. Thanks for joining us. God bless you as you listen to his word. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving, for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Today's first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. The second reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 17 to 23. The Gospel is taken from St. Luke, Chapter 24, verses 46 to 53. I read from the Gospel. And he said to them, So it is written that the Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that in his name repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to this. And now I am sending upon you what the Father has promised. Stay in the city then until you are clothed with the power from on high. Then he took them out as far as the outskirts of Bethany and raising his hands, he blessed them. Now, as he blessed them, he withdrew from them and was carried up to heaven. They worshipped him and then went back to Jerusalem full of joy, and they were continually in the temple praising God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness for the Lord. The Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts His throne to To every beginning, there is an end. To every beginning, there is an end. Dear friends, I begin today's meditation with an anecdote. A kid was found eating a lovely and yummy piece of cake. The first few minutes of the eating, he was all in joy. Midway, he burst into tears. While eating, he kept crying. For those around, they could not relate and put both actions together because they seemed parallel eating and crying. Why and how could one be eating a piece of cake and crying at the same time? When the kid was asked why, his wise answer amused his onlookers. I am crying because with every bite, the yummy cake draws to its finish. From this we deduce the wise saying, 
you cannot eat your cake and have it. Meaning, once it's eaten, it's gone. It's finished. You cannot eat it and have it again. Once your time has passed, it's passed. It cannot come back. With every passing day, we grow older and closer to our end. We cannot return to our yesterday. You are one day older today than yesterday, thus one step closer to your death and your grief than yesterday. Everything that has a beginning has an end. You cannot eat your cake and have it. So like the little boy, we are living this life, enjoying it yet crying because it's finishing. While reading the gospel, in truth, I felt a little emotional. Seeing Jesus blessing his apostles, waving them goodbye, and then disappearing into the clouds. I felt emotional. They had been with him. They had shared life with him. They had lived with him. And here he was, leaving them. Today is Ascension Thursday. Jesus leaves the earth for good, physically. The apostles no longer see him. They will no longer touch him. His appearances have come to an end. He is going back to his heavenly glory. While reading the gospel, I also imagined the situation we find ourselves in when we live life with people, love them, enjoy their love and share love with them. And a few years after, we find those people in a wooden box called a coffin, dead because they have left us. It is the end. They have gone. There was a beginning. Now it was an end. Today, beloved, we celebrate the solemnity of the ascension. Jesus has eaten his cake. His days on earth are over. He has come to his end. The beginning when he came to this earth in human form was when he was born in Bethlehem. He lived, and now his end is today. He is returning to his father. But unlike the kid, Jesus is not crying. He has no regrets. He is going, yet he is happy going. Why? Because it has been a fulfilled sojourn on earth with human beings. No longer would they see him or touch him physically. He has done his work. His mission is accomplished. He is going to the Father, and his reward is a seat at the Father's right hand and a name which is above every other name. Philippians chapter 2 verse 9. As it were, Jesus is returning to heaven to a glorious homecoming. Dear God's good people, the ascension of Jesus also points to our own end. We too shall come to the end of our own earthly surgeon. Someday, we shall be out of here to return to, to the Father, to our Maker. How would your return be? How would my return be? How would your home return or your homecoming be? How would your end be? I have seen where people die, their pictures are placed on banners, the homecoming of so so and so, or perhaps when people are appointed to some beautiful post of responsibility by the government, they go back to their hometown and it is said the homecoming of an illustrious son or daughter. Like Jesus, we too have been born. We are living this life. On the day of our birth, we had our beginnings. We shall also come to an end when that day comes to leave this earth. Unlike Jesus, many of us are like the kid. We are eating our cake, enjoying it, and just how we wish it does not finish. But that will mean we are living in a fool's paradise. Because someday, whether we like it or not, it will come to an end. When you die, how will heaven describe your homecoming? Illustrious or not? Let us remember what Jesus says. When you have done all what you are supposed to do and you die, 
he will say to you, Well done, good and faithful servant. Come to the homeland that has been prepared for you. The questions to ask are, How prepared are we for that end? Shall we be happy to return? Shall we return fulfilled? And if we return, where would we be? Jesus is returning to the Father's right hand because he did well. In our case, shall we return to heaven, that home that has been prepared for us, because we did well here on earth? Or shall we return to damnation? Today's feast therefore invites us to live in the consciousness of our end. Yet, it also leaves us full of hope. Firstly, hope that Jesus will come again. He's not going for good, but his second coming, he will come in glory to judge us. Secondly, we have the hope that where he, the head, has gone, we, the body, will follow. Lord Jesus, you have come to the end of your earthly surgeon. You are returning to glory at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Help us live our own earthly lives conscious of our own end, so that we too may have a glorious homecoming to live and reign with you and God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit and all the angels and saints forever and ever. Amen. We wish each and every one of you a very happy feast of the Ascension. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen.